Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape. If you want to encrypt files you upload to your AWS S3 trading partner via Jscape MFT server, the easiest way is to use AES256 Amazon S3 server-side encryption. We'll show you how to use this particular service in this post. To use Amazon S3 AES256 encryption, navigate to the S3 service and then go to the bucket that you want to secure with AES256 encryption. In my case, the name of that bucket is Jscape John. In this particular bucket, I have a folder named Folder 1. Let's take note of that because that's where I'm going to upload files from my Jscape MFT server instance. Once you are at your S3 bucket, navigate to the Properties tab and go to the Default Encryption section. Most likely, it will be marked as Disabled, meaning no encryption is currently used. Click that Disabled label to edit the default encryption setting. Next, select AES256 as your default encryption and then click Save. That disabled label you saw earlier should now be replaced with AES256. That means any file you upload to this S3 bucket moving forward will already be encrypted with Amazon S3 AES256 encryption. Now that we have AES256 enabled on our S3 bucket, Let's now head over to our Jscape MFT server instance to configure it so it can start using that encryption feature when it uploads files to that S3 bucket. Go to the domain where you have your S3 trading partner object and edit that S3 trading partner. Scroll down to the authentication section and then click the use encryption checkbox. Select the AES256 option and then click the OK button. With that, this trading partner should now be ready to use S3 AES256 encryption. That's all there is to it. But before we end, let me just show you what happens when you upload a file to your AES256 protected Amazon S3 bucket from Jscape MFT server. What I have here is a trigger that uploads a file to my Amazon S3 bucket. So as you can see, the partner setting is set to tp-s3, which is the name of my Amazon S3 trading partner object. In addition, the file this trigger is configured to upload is named file01.txt, and it's going to be uploaded to the folder named folder1 under the S3 bucket named Jscape John. So if I run this trigger and then check inside the S3 bucket folder named folder1 through the AWS management console, I should see the newly uploaded file named file01.txt. And if I click on that file and check its properties, I should see that it has indeed been encrypted with AES256 encryption. That's it. Now you know how to use AWS S3 AES256 to encrypt files uploaded to your S3 trading partner using Jscape. Now.